Happy Friday souls everybody, I do hope you're all doing well. Um, my name's Marie, welcome back to the channel Marie Made This. And as it's Friday souls, it's time for a little bit of a catch up on what's been happening, sewing and otherwise. Um, so there's a couple of things that uh, I really wanted to talk to you about today. Um, one of them involves some knitting and we're going to save that for the end and if you are not a knitting person please feel free to tune out at that point um i know not everybody knits or is interested in it but i have a question and i'm hoping that some of you who do knit might be able to help me with it so um but i'll save that to the end first things first um let me tell you about what i'm wearing because it's been a work in progress um this is a dress that was supposed to be um, a Love Notions lyric dress and um, it's not a lyric dress anymore. Um, I will make a lyric at some point but um, I said uh, the week before last when I was actually cutting it out that um, I'd made muslins of the lyric dress. I made a couple to get the fit right and I realised that the lyric is is a more fitted bodice and just the way I feel at the moment um, I, I didn't want that and I didn't want to wait until I felt more comfortable with wearing a fitted bodice to use this fabric up. I wanted to use it straight away and make something lovely from it. So um, I had a bit of a rethink and what I've made is this um, which I I love but I'm also a bit worried about at the same time the reason I'm worried is because of the fabric which is this kind of um, dot raised dot print on this viscose fabric which is lovely and light um, but I have a feeling that it's going to crease a lot um, just sitting down even I think I'm getting crease marks across my lap and I remember um, watching Michelle Sewing Bunny's video about her wedding not that long ago and she said she had made her going away dress from a similar fabric I don't think it's the same because this wasn't um, not, it's not the same brand as, as hers but she also said that she was worried about it creasing a lot so I think I've discovered I'm going to have a similar problem so we'll see how it goes anyway um so it is um yeah a viscose fabric I've lined it um just with a kind of a lawn fabric because it is very sheer I haven't lined the sleeves but I've lined the bodice and the skirt so I based it on the sew over it Florence dress I've made a couple of them before um, so I've taken the generally the bodice and the skirt from that because I know that I like the fit um, although I did adjust the shoulders so that they fit actually on the shoulder a little bit better so it's kind of a Florence but I liked the V of the lyric so I changed the standing collar of the Florence um, and just turned it into a V shape and then I retained the buttons down the front from the Florence but they I just sewed down the placket because it's big enough to get over the head and then it has I changed the elastic for a ribbon because again I prefer that feel around my waist I can adjust it depending to how I'm feeling and then the sleeves are the beautiful rose color sleeves uh, from the cashmerette dress these are the long version when I made my rose Claire I ended up having to do short sleeves because I didn't have enough fabric so I went ahead and did these beautiful bishop sleeves and I love that cuff gathering I narrowed the cuff because the actual pattern it's twice that wide and I didn't want it that wide so I just narrowed it but gathered everything in amazingly the um, I think this is a 14 sleeve of the Rose Claire fit very nicely into my size 16 Florence bodice so we didn't really have to do any changing any extra could fortunately was on the sleeve side so I just put the few gathers in there 
Um, it doesn't have pockets because I thought the fabric was too lightweight for that. Um, so anyway, here is my dress. So it's not a lyric. I think it's a Floriclair, Florence lyric, Rose Claire. So I think it's a Floriclair dress. I got these lovely little green heart buttons and the um, ribbon from Berry Market. I haven't been there for quite a while and I went up uh, last Friday um, I had a few hours that I needed one or two other things as well um, for the house so and I saw those straight away got myself half a dozen of them um, I've used five so I've got one more if I need it for anything else but so that's my make for the last couple of weeks um, I have a new toy so I'm just going to take you over there for a moment hopefully it won't be too wobbly but I'm not quite sure how else to do this here we go. Say hello to my little friend. Let me bring you back so it's not too, so you don't get seasick. Yes, I treated myself to an overlocker. Ah! Um, I have been thinking about getting one. Should I? Should I not? I've not had an overlocker before ever um, and from a distance they seem a bit scary but then having when I use fabric that has a tendency to fray there are times when I think oh I really wish I had one and I'm also quite envious of people who just run up a t-shirt really quickly because they say oh we did it all on my overlocker um, but I wasn't sure and anyway this one was on an offer and actually it's from Aldi oh. and they will occasionally have online offers of things like that now I've had in the past from them um, a food mixer which is similar to a well-known brand that costs about 350 pounds but didn't cost anywhere near that and for what I use it for it's absolutely brilliant it it makes my bread does my pizza dough it's fine so having had electrical items from them in the past I thought it would be worth giving it a try um, so I've got one um, I need to go and have a play with it I'm going for a little tutorial um, at my sister-in-law's later on so hopefully um, she will be able just to show me a few tips I've got it working and I've done if I can reach I've thrown away the bits I was working at but I have actually managed to just get it working so you can see there it just that's the woven one um, what I want to do um, is make a t-shirt I've got some fabric um, and I just want to run up a t-shirt using it to see how far I go so it's a bit exciting and it's a bit scary um, so let's see how that goes and hopefully it's a little bit of an investment well spent so that's that exciting news um, and then beyond that I've been what did I do I went to the cinema for the second time in ages and I used to go to the cinema a couple of times a week um, but I did go once it was fairly quiet most people were masked up still um, I think we just need to wait and see what how things are going to be um, over the next few weeks our schools are going back in a couple of weeks week and a half so that might change things because schools are going to be different places we don't they don't need to use the masks they don't uh, need to keep the children in bubbles anymore so um, we'll see what happens there um, so yeah I've just um, it's just been enjoying um, not being at work um, having lots of coffee and you know meeting up with some friends from time to time so um as far as that goes it's nothing special um usual marie stuff um if anything earth shattering happens i'll let you know but at the moment no nothing to do with it got a noisy car radio just went past there apologies if you heard it um now the other thing I've picked up though over the last 
week or so, two weeks maybe, um, is I found some knitting that I was doing. So if you are not interested in this, I understand. Thank you so much for stopping by um, and I'll see you next time. But if you are a knitter, could I please ask you a question? First of all, let me tell you what I've been doing. I found um, this pattern and a whole load of Aran wool um, in a bag uh, at my mum and dad's house, oh, a couple of years ago. Well, yeah, several years ago now. Um, my mum was a massive knitter. I learned to knit from her when I was a child. Um, and she always had knitting on the go when we were children. And then as I got older, I had a little bit of knitting and crocheting on the go. Um, and when I got into sewing um, in my 20s, um, I stopped knitting really because sewing sewing makes grow quicker than knitting makes. And just sitting there knitting something forever and ever and ever. And especially when you're young and you're not in every evening, you know, you're going out and doing things um, as a youngster. Knitting just wasn't growing anywhere for me. So um, I haven't knit for a long time. And then when I was clearing out the house um, after my mum died, I found a whole load of Aran wool um, that she had started to knit into something, but she hadn't got very far with it. And then I think she got too unwell to continue. So I took it and I bought this pattern. This isn't a pattern she had, this is one that I bought. Um, and I just liked it because I do like a nice cardigan in the winter, but I don't like them. Sometimes I feel a bit too wrapped up in them and I've discovered it's because um, the collars sometimes just irritate my neck. I don't even like wearing a scarf like that um, indoors. I wear one outdoors with a coat, but not indoors. So um, the back looks like this. And she's just wearing a scarf there. So it's just like a round back. I wonder if there's a line drawing. No, I don't think there is. Anyway, um, so I've picked that up. I've done the back and I've done one of the sides. Um, mine's an actual iron coloured wool, so it looks like this. Um, I love, I do love this stitch here, and this, that appears inside the diamonds there. We've got the cables. I've made a couple of tiny errors, but I'm not unpicking a lot of it for that, um, especially as it's iron, it's a bit fiddly. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, when I started making this several years ago, um, I chose a size. I've, I've, I chose a size that seemed to be right at the time. The last couple of years, because I've been sewing a lot, I have learned obviously more about how garments fit me and that um, if I can't find a pattern with built-in cup sizing, I need to do a full bust adjustment. So I had done the back of this and then when I came to do the front, um, realized that it wasn't going to fit across the front and even though it kind of is open a little bit here it does fasten at the front so what I've done to get around that this time is I'm making a bigger size at the front and then I'll just adjust the stitching across this yoke that goes all the way around um, so I will have a bigger size at the front and the back and that's often how it goes because I don't need the extra in the back and that's okay with this pattern because you can you can do that. What I'm curious about, and here's my question for knitters, is if I had a pattern that was more fitted, that was more, um, maybe it stopped here and it buttoned all the way down, or maybe it was a V, a V shape, a V neck. Um, how do you do a full bust adjustment when you're knitting? Is it something you can do? Or do you just do a bigger size at the front? Um, because the shoulders need to be the original size, which is how come, you know, if you measure your high bust and then you do a full bust adjustment, then the shoulders are right. So knitters, what do you do? What, what should I do? What kind of pattern am I looking for now? Do I want one? Can you get patterns that are different frontages, different cup sizes? I'm a complete mess because I've tried to search online for 
full bust adjustment when knitting and just keep coming up with things that say that show me how to do a full bust adjustment using knit fabric so like for a t-shirt or something well that's not what I'm looking for so um please let me know if there is a way around that or um, any companies that do that because I have got some more yarn in the in the cupboard there um, and I would really like to have a go at something that would accommodate a larger bust without having to make just a big sloppy boyfriend style cardigan which yes I can do that that's not a problem but that's not what I want so thank you for that I'm going to go now and have a little bit more of a play with my overlocker and cut out a t-shirt so that when I've had my instruction from my sister-in-law um, hopefully on the next couple of days I will create a t-shirt. I don't quite know what, what I'm going to make yet so I'm going to um, have a look around and see what I fancy, see what I need for the wardrobe. Um, yeah, that's me. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Um, I Please check out the hashtag Friday Sews if you haven't done it before. There are so many lovely people sharing their stories and their makes and their ideas um, that I, I can spend hours just following. And people that I've never come across before and they're lovely. They let you into their lives and and it's been absolutely brilliant. So please follow the Friday Sews hashtag. Um, if you don't subscribe to my channel already, you might want to do that if you like the kinds of things that I'm showing here. Um, otherwise, I really hope you're having a great Friday. I hope you have an even better weekend and I hope to see you all again soon. Take care.